यस सर यस धवल जी बोलिए प्लीज गुड इवनिंग सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द इंफॉर्मेटिव सेशन ऑफ टू डेज आई एम फ्रॉम नवरीत एजुकेशन आई हैव जस्ट वन क्वेश्चन वी एक्सपोर्ट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स मेड आउट ऑफ पॉलीप्रोपेन टू यूएसए एंड मेनी ऑफ आवर कस्टमर्स आर आस्किंग फॉर रीसाइकल्ड पॉलीप्रोपेन प्रोडक्ट्स और रीसाइकल्ड श्रिंक फिल्म so is there any uh, certification that is available uh, and acceptable internationally that we can uh, get for the recycled plastic material okay so uh, at this point in time you are not using recycled at all no, we are actually using a little bit of recycled but we don't have any certification to prove that that that, that is recycled so sir uh, actually the problem with this uh, recycled market it is uh, not very segmented in nature and there are issues regarding when you want to have certifications because i tell you what the what your service provider would do the one who is supplying you polypropylene right yeah. so let's say he is using for example just to understand he is using 30% of recycled component and 70% of virgin component correct the time he is going to get 30, instead of 30 if the properties of the recycled polymer are good what he'll do is he'll without telling you go to 40 or 45% polypropylene yes. and that is where uh, the, this again that is why i'm saying that this is a very disoriented market i may have to look at if we can get a certificate regarding this but uh, what you can do is you can uh, you know sort of email this query and uh, we can address this uh, yes. later on at this point in time i do not remember any standard that uh, you can provide for recycled material in particular thank you sir welcome welcome yeah. yes pankaj ji please yeah prashant ji uh, so we we'll talk about composite so uh, composite is a uh, bio base and uh, fossil base uh, combination of this so uh, is it uh, sustainable means how will be the end of life uh, what is the material that you are saying fossil based material uh, fossil based means uh, any uh, you can you say you have given the example of uh, car dashboard or something okay okay so you are just like giving uh, asking for from the context of an example yes for example we are in packaging industry so i am talking about uh, plastic bottles and caps okay so in caps if we do the composite means if we add a wooden flakes or uh, this uh, coffee uh, rust with the polymer so uh, how what will be the end of life so uh, you would find that even if you let's say you are using something like uh, rice husk or coffee flakes or something like that right or even yeah. wood powder for example you would mm-hmm. find that your polymer may not degrade uh, yeah. although the component that is bio based in nature which is either wood powder or something like that will degrade uh, in its natural uh, time frame but then what is going to be left behind is the fossil based materials and even if you try to get it certified it is not going to get certified so again whether it is going to be sustainable or not uh, i may not be able to answer that question but then we are talking about the end of life of a material which has a fossil based plastic and a bio based fiber you would find that the bio based fiber may degrade but the fossil based plastic may remain as it is and uh, the degradation rates would substantially be lower when i am degrading just fibers versus mm-hmm. that of plastic with fiber because now my fibers are sort of impregnated and incorporated in my polymeric matrix so if the mm-hmm. polymer doesn't degrade the inner layer doesn't get exposed to you know these microorganisms and then degradation won't happen for that case in particular mm-hmm. and it is recyclable is over uh, period of time we can recycle it you can recycle it uh, depending on what percentage of material you have used and what polymer you have used i mean we are talking about the bio based material so let's say we have used wood it contains cellulose right mm-hmm. so stability of cellulose is something that you'll have to look at so may not be possible with something like pet and all because you have to process it at much higher temperatures but it may be possible with the commodity or maybe polyolefins in particular yeah yeah pp and uh, o you can still work with lower temperatures because it starts opening at 120 130 mm-hmm. okay Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for yeah. Uh, yeah. for a lot of informations. I've heard. Yeah. Thank you.